वेलकम टू मुलर अकेडमी लेट्स स्टार्ट आवर फर्स्ट क्लास टुडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग चैप्टर इन्वामेंटल इश्यूज अकॉर्डिंग टू नेट एन सी आर टी क्लास ट्वेल्थ सिलेबस फॉर नीट एंड सी यू टी सो एज फ्यूचर मेडिकल प्रोफेशनल और एस्पिरेंट फॉर अदर एग्जाम इट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर यू टू अंडरस्टैंड द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ आवर एक्शन ऑन द इन्वामेंट एंड हाउ पॉल्यूशन मे अफेक्ट ह्यूमन हेल्थ सो वी विल बी covering topics such as air pollution water pollution climate change deforestation during this class so this chapter will be uh, divided into parts as you can see that the, there are many topics and today we will be discussing air pollution and also the ways in which we can reduce environmental impact of air pollution and promote sustainable practices so let's have your textbooks and notes ready as we dive into this important type topic which is air pollution so before starting air pollution let's understand what so before is starting air pollution let us in understand what is pollution so pollution is any undesirable changes in physical chemical or biological characteristics of air land water or soil and the agent that brings this pollution are known as pollutant in order to control environmental pollution government of india has passed the environmental protection act 1986 to protect and improve the quality of our in environment including air water or soil so before starting this chapter i will would like to share few stats about air pollution so according to who 9 out of 10 people worldwide breathe air that contains high level of pollutants and uh, In two thousand nineteen, an estimated seven million deaths were attributed to air pollution, with the majority of deaths occurring in low or middle income countries. In India, air pollution is responsible for over one point two million deaths annually, and is considered as the fifth fifth largest killer in the country. Now, with this data, you can understand the seriousness of air pollution. as we all know that the industries or or thermal power plant they exhaust a dirty air having the particulate matters or poisonous gases so there are methods through which these industries they treat their gases exhaust before discharge of these gases to the environment and the method which they use and uh, which is mentioned in ncert is scrubber or electrostatic precipitator so we will be discussing about these two methods so what are scrubbers scrubbers are air pollution control device that use liquid to remove pollute particulate matter or gases from industrial wastes and electrostatic precipitators are the function have a function different by from that of scrubber where they use charge energy to remove dust or other contaminants from the gas so here you can see the picture of both scrubber or a electrostatic precipitator so let's understand what is electrostatic precipitator so electrostatic precipitator removes over 99% per per particulate matter present in the exhaust from a thermal power plant and it has electrodes which are maintained at very high voltage so these electrostatic precipitator dependent on the voltage which is through electrodes and the highly charged electrode produces corona which release electron so due to high voltage the electrons are released in this electrostatic precipitators and this 
uh, when the electrons are released so these electrons when dirt, dirty air is coming so this electron covers the particulate matters and they give them negative charge and in electrostatic precipitators they are collecting plates and these collecting plates are positively charged so when this negatively charged dirt, particulate matter or dirt is coming they have a less velocity and they just settle on this collecting plate and the rest of the clean gas passes through the electrostatic precipitator so this is the mechanism through which electrostatic precipitator cleans the dirty air now come to the scrubber so in a scrubber the dirty air pass through a spray of water or lime instead of electricity electrode as in case of electrostatic precipitator so here in scrubber this dirty air is passed through the water or lime so what happens when this dirty air passes through the water or lime it particulate matter just settle there and the clean air releases so this is the mechanism through which scrubber cleans the dirty air so now here i will also want to mention uh, one important point that according to cpcb which is Con central pollution control board the particulate matter with the size 2.5 micron or less in diameter are very hazardous to health, human health and these particles can be inhaled and cause respiratory ailment you must have heard about pm25 this P pm is particulate matter so this pm25 2.5 is very hazardous for the human health as it causes respiratory diseases in human So apart from this uh, exhaust from the uh, industry or, in, or a thermal power plant, the major causes of air pollution in metropolitan city are automobiles. So due to large increasing number of automobiles, the, these urban, city, uh, city, urban cities are facing a huge problem which is air pollution. So to curb the automobile air pollution, there are many measures has taken and uh, among these the catalytic converter is one of them and these what happens in catalytic converter here many expensive metals are used uh, in the engines like platinum palladium or rhodium and these metals are fitted in the automobiles for uh, remo removing poisonous gases so how they work like once catalytic converter is there it will change unburnt hydrocarbon to the harmless carbon dioxide or water similarly uh, the mo carbon monoxide or uh, nitric oxide gases are converted to carbon dioxide or nitrogen gas respectively using catalytic converter so Apart from air pollution, uh, the Air Prevention and Control Pollution Act came into force in 1981 and this act was further amended in 1987 to include noise as a air pollution. So noise is a part of a air pollution, is a kind of a pollution and what is noise? Noise is an undesired high level of sound. And in India, according to CPCB, there are cer certain limits which can be used during day or night time and uh, which is uh, which which is permissible limit above this that noise is uh, come under uh, pollution category so let us see what are these limits so in different uh, uh, area of the city there is different limit of noise so in during in uh, daytime in residential area the noise maximum limit of noise should be 55 decibel and the unit of noise is decibel so it uh, in residential area noise should not be more than 55 decibel in during daytime and in night time it should be not more than 45 similarly there are different uh, other um, 
for the uh, other uh, limits for different areas such as commercial industrial and the silence zone so silence zone is what it is it, it area such as hospital court educational institutes and here the day time during day time the decibel unit should be uh, maximum decibel should be not more than 15 day time and in night time it should not be more than 40 so this is very important table so you can uh, note these uh, limits because in many question, uh, exams many times these limits are asked so let us come to uh, next topic which is uh, controlling vacuolar air pollution and delhi as a case study so we know that the uh, air pollution problem in delhi is worse and many actions has have taken in last decade to uh, control the air pollution in delhi among these methods the um, C cng buses are one of them which was uh, which was con uh, started in 2002 so what is cng cng is a compressed natural gas which burn more efficiently from uh, than petrol and diesel and uh, uh, other method which was taken in delhi was phasing out of old vehicle in delhi to curb the vehicular pollution in delhi and in this, uh, what is phasing out of old vehicle that in delhi you cannot uh, uh, use old uh, petrol vehicle after 10 years and uh, diesel vehicle uh, petrol vehicle after 15 years and diesel vehicle after 10 years you have to uh, sell it out and government of india through new auto policy has led it act or a road map to cut down the vehicular pollution in Indian cities and they have uh, used Bharat stage fuel and currently we are at the Bharat stage 6 fuel policy which is which implemented on 1st April 2020 and uh, mm -hmm. the, the, uh, this topic is very important and uh, I will uh, cover this um, topic separately because uh, the, the, there are many times we know that uh, many questions have been asked from this uh, particular topic uh, for um, of the pollution and uh, I can uh, tell you uh, that uh, like Bharat stage 2 was implemented in India in on 1st April 2005 then 3 Bharat stage 3 was implemented in two, 1st April 2010 4 was implemented in 2017 and currently we are at Bharat stage 6 which implemented on uh, 1st April 2020 1st April 2020 and uh, the, what is Bharat stage fuel this is a fuel where we uh, there is stringent use of uh, nitrous oxide and sulfur and uh, this is also known as a euro 6 so using this uh, these uh, fuel efficient uh, we can if, uh, significantly use the pollution level so i will uh, cover this topic separately with all the details so you can uh, get maximum benefit from this uh, co by covering this topic so for now uh, this is um, this is it for this pollution chapter and uh, we will uh, meet soon with other topic which is water pollution and we, uh, we will cover this uh, whole uh, uh, environmental issue uh, in this channel so stay tuned and please like share and subscribe this uh, channel and uh, uh, and continue your preparation thank you